So I've just done a little bit of spraying. I've got to clean the brush now because I don't want anything to set. I've got a bit of paint still left in, which I'm going to have to throw away. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a small amount of uh, isopropanol inside the actual bucket. Just a couple of drops, just so that I can kind of swirl it around. Hopefully you can see in there there's a little bit in the bottom. I'm going to have to forfeit that and throw that away. So I'm just going to do that in here. Just going to pull that away. There's not a lot I could do about that. There's not point to uh, saving it. So now I've kind of got an empty-ish bucket. Next job I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, a bit of cleaner through it. I've got some of the cleaning fluid for the airbrush. So I've got some of this stuff here, this airbrush cleaner. So from what I understand, the best thing to do is put some gloves on because this can get a little bit uh, messy and it's an irritant on the skin as well. So I've poured some of the residue out. As you saw, we've got some still in the bottom. I'm just going to use this just to see if I can get some of that excess out before going any further. So that kind of gets rid of a fair amount of the excess. I'm going to use some of the cleaner that I've got in here. I'm going to put it into the bucket like so. I'm now going to spray it into this like so, to get something out through the needle, just to see if I can clean the needle up. Bit of air, pop it through. The other thing to do is you can obviously use your finger and blow through so it bubbles. As you see, it's a bit messy. Helps blow back any paint through the needle and you can get rid of the excess for the time being, like so. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a cotton bud and some more of the cleaner and just clean it as much as I can sort of down where the needle is. Like so, I'm gonna clean it again through the hole. So it's looking cleaner already, a bit more paper towel. Now with these, you've obviously got quite a bit of in the nozzle as well. So again, all I tend to use for that is a cotton bud, a bit of isopropanol, and I stick that in there and just trying to give that a bit of a clean up, again like so, so we can get it looking relatively clean. Now for disassembly, this is quite straightforward, you can uh, remove these like so and expose the needle, so you can give those a good clean as well. And this particular brush, you can just open up the end here like this, loosen uh, this kind of locking adjuster and pull the needle out. And you can probably see just there, if I put my hand behind it, that there's some yellow on the needle as well. That could be cleaned off again. A little bit of ice paper and some paper towel. So that needle is nice and clean. The end looks reasonable to be fair. Inside, I just need to clean again the inside of that which I'm going to use now that I've got the needle out of the way, I can get in to the bottom of the bucket and see if I can actually remove as much of that yellow paint that I've been using as possible from within. Now it's going to be very difficult to do all of it. The problem with this is these are like a cardboardy based. They really need to be, I think, some of a bit of like wood on it so that the, the tip of that is so much stronger. And also, you want the ones which you've got the tight weave on as well, if possible, because I think these ones do tend to leave some of the some of the cleaning material in the bottom. So I'm going to put the needle back in. I'm going to put the needle back in there. I'm going to put the end. Just going to tighten up the adjuster. That sort of grips the needle. I'm going to plug that in there, like this. and I'm going to spray just a little bit more of the paint. I'm going to check this. I can see I've got just a tiny amount on the end there. So that's nice and clean. Just check in here. There's just a little bit on the inside of that. Again, I can use a cotton bud and some isopropanol just to get rid of some of that stuff. So this is not an expensive. I think this is called a BD250. I don't know who makes it. Thing, thing, thing D or something along those lines. Whoever I've just been using. 
I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put just a little bit more cleaner in, like so. I'm going to run it through my air cleaner again. There's nothing left in there. It's all gone. I'll just spray it on my paper. There's the ever so small amount of colour just coming out. Hopefully it will disappear shortly. A little bit more in just until I keep I'll keep doing that until the colour kind of disappears from the from the from the nozzle. Last little bit. Just a couple of drops. Last couple of drops. Hopefully I will now have no. You can see how much you can see how much comes out of them. Hopefully you can see that it is now clean. There's nothing coming out which is um, yellow, apart from a little bit of wetness. I think that's just, just wetness on the tips. The bucket itself looks reasonably clean, I would say myself as well. There's just a little bit of color down the bottom that is gonna be quite difficult to get out, I think, but it doesn't seem to be impacting anything too much. I may just give it a little bit of a go once I get some of the sort of harder Q-tips or whatever you want to call them, cotton buds, just to sort of get that last remainder out. But cleaning the airbrush, quite a doddle. Hope that's of interest. Thanks for watching and uh, hit the subscribe, like and notification bells. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.